and the next background recording has started. So if you're on the YouTube end now, hello. But stream is going to keep going. With part three of the uh, fairy library. Listen to me, Exelon. A new book of memories has arisen. From the book's binding, I'm pretty sure it's a continuation of the book you read last time. The Tired and Tested Lynn and the Curse of the Night People. This book, too, has no title. That's why I'd like you to recall the memories engraved in the book once again. Smash this out. Ayo. Thank you, Exelon. See that book glowing there? It's the new memory book. Open the book and you will be able to enter the memories that are engraved within it. I'll give you this before, like I did last time, too. I don't know, if it's not over with this third cre crest, quest, we're picking it back up next week. When you're in a book, you can use this aroma, aroma, <laughs> aroma from your pre uh, key items to come back to our world. Now, first go inside the memory book. Examine it on the bookshelf on this floor. The future of two. I wonder if this is a concept they'll revisit later with the top floor, because I think this is the last part of it. Yeah, we can see part of Lynn on the side there. Smash this out. Nice. The curse you got from those ghosts. It's getting darker. It was a mistake to bring you here. This temple is not the place for you. I'm fine on my own. You just have to get out of here now. <laughs> on the knee. Raoul, are you okay? Please, make a way out like you did last time. Sorry, Raoul. It's too deep underground for me to make a path like that here. Then at least let Lin... found a door that leads to the back of the temple. It is said that the treasure of this temple, the Miracle of Jyla, grants wishes to those who obtain it. We can use that power to have your curse lifted. So for now, let's move forward. You, who have come this far with me, know best what I'm capable of. I'll definitely help you. You can trust me. I can't beat your positivity. I'm ready to move forward too. Let's go. Come on, Akmon. All right, there it is. Yeah, that's it. Together, we'll find the miracle of Jyla. Lynn, I'll be fine. Just think about moving forward. He went down a level, I think. Wasn't he 32? I do like that he's in, like, the... It's a nice touch. 
visually. <sighs> Let me know when you're back, Nick, if you still have volume. There's something in the back. I feel some sort of mysterious power. Oh. This altar, one, two, three. Looks like there are two sets of them. Oh, the twelve, yeah. When we connect the twelve moons, the power of miracles awakens from its sleep. That's what the inscription on the upper floor says. I guess that means if we put the moon statues here, we'll find the miracle of Jyla. So far, we've collected eight statues. If your guess is right, we've got four more to go. Wait here, Raoul. I'll get the rest. I will not let you go alone. It was the two of us that made it this far, wasn't it? But Raoul, you can't afford to overstep or to overexert yourself. Then I'll go with Raoul, right? Do we get to see Raoul with the hat? I feel so energized when I came to this place. The least I can do, I'll give you both new powers. Midnight Mahosi power. Dude, hero pose. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Lin and Raoul have awakened to new powers. Thank you, Masahoy. You have a, you really are a nice hat. I seem to have eased up a bit. Lin. If you're ready, I'll be there. You're the one who has to not do anything rash, okay? <laughs> uh, that's my line. Okay. Raoul is forcing himself not to worry about me. We must collect the moon statues and save Raoul from the curse as soon as possible. Oh. 
Oh, boy, this is a big floor. Holy crap. Lynn read the inscription on the monument. The crystals of the stars blink and flicker whenever their neighbors resonate and touch. When the night sky is full of stars, a new moon will appear. Let's see. When you say full of stars, you mean to make all of the crystals glow? Let's write that down for now. I'm also curious about the flame in the corner. Uh, eh, eh. Oh, okay, literally, let, let's just check out, check it out. <laughs> Whoa. The flame reveals the destiny of this small universe. Touch the crystal and one of the flames will be extinguished. Before it all goes out, light up the stars in the sky. When the flames are extinguished, or when you press the jewel on the monument, the fl all flames will be revived. Apparently I'm supposed to untie the tr- To solve the puzzle before the flames in this candelabra are extinguished. I wonder if the jewel on the monument is the button in the middle here. Let's, let's find out right away. Blinding light covers your vision. The trick is back where it all started. Okay. Oh! What? I get two moves to solve it, which means it can be solved in two moves, right? Uh, or is it... Yeah, I get two moves to solve it. Dang. Okay, so if I hit this, these three will turn lit, and that one will unlight. Link solve this puzzle. Yeah. If I hit this one, that one will light up, this one will turn off, that one will turn off. Off, on, up. That was actually incredibly simpler. It's the later ones I'm worried about. Okay, the combat puzzles are the ones that are tough. Yeah, definitely. That's what these puzzles are designed for, is to get you to overthink it. Alright, before we get into combat... <sighs> I will forget. 
Looks like the Statue of the Moon has appeared. We have to move on for Raul's sake. Those have not changed. Gale of the Star, aura which repels a single breath attack. That hasn't changed, that hasn't changed. Moonlight Cross. I don't know what other status effects it does, but okay. These have not been translated, which is going to be a problem. Because I need the specifics of what they do. Glitter Pawn for, okay, immunity to status effects. For, okay, and uh, speed up? Glitter Pawn and a speed up technique. Okay, so it is literally just think about how to defeat your enemies again. I think my favorite was actually the two skeleton dragons. All right, so what do you do? First, let's get this uh, breath attack going. Yeah, I thought so. Yep, there's the paralysis. Oh, that's literally like one attack level, huh? That was the top skill, right? No, is this Maybe that wasn't a speed up? Huh. Somewhere in the distance, I heard a door open. It sounded like all the others. It came from... Just like all the other times, it came from Raul's side. to Freaky Friday this. That's swapping bodies, not swapping characters. Okay, it's the same. All right, we have three turns. Oh, gosh. Oh. Did I solve it already? Two. Three. First try, baby! Let's go! <laughs> GG easy. Yeah, pretty much. I've been prepared for this since the very first time I played Link's Awakening as a child. The Color Dungeon, man. Same puzzle. Alright, Raul's tends to be a little bit harder. <sighs> hmm. And the combat trials? 
The moon statue has appeared. I'll finish this while my body is still moving. Alright, Gravity Burst, Revenge Spark is not translated. That is Big Boy Slammer move. Uh, you are a debuffer? It captures the hearts of enemies. Okay. Revenge Spark. Attract attention and numb enemies who have attacked. I guess trial by fire. Learn through combat. Oh, this is a cool looking room. Oh, they got the ball things in here. Yes, Draco? Why does he have the exhausted idol? Because he's cursed. Also, welcome back. <laughs> you missed a lot. Okay, let's get rid of all of that big boy weight you've got going on. I don't like that. What do you do? Okay, it is a uh, bugle, bugle or whatever it's called. Make the enemy fall for you. Uh, oh, I see. I understand how this goes. And a revenge spark. Ouch. Call your ally. I'm still not sure what this does. Let's find out. I'm going to get hit by this. Come on. Call your buddy. I think I need to restart Clarity. Ah. All right, I think I need. I know what I need to do. Is that call ally? Yeah. Have fun blowing up your friend. Two more.
came from the direction where Lin is. Curse bruise is getting darker. I hope my body holds out until we get Lin out of this temple. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five turns. I think I'm on the right track, though. Let's see. Nope! Ugh. Push the button. Okay. Brain tapped out for a bit. Yeah. Next room has appeared. Raoul, wait for me. Okay. What does this do again? Right. Uh. Oh! That hit. <laughs> oh, we're just dead. I picked the wrong path in this choose your own adventure book. I mean, he's still... I said Raoul was harder. I 
I call BS? No, there's no BS. It's the fight itself is a puzzle. Okay, we can't push this. Uh... Oh, I see! Okay. I see. They don't give you much time to figure that out. <laughs> The question is, how do we get the stone towards the monster? Because Lynn don't weigh very much. She can't push. Okay. Single breath attack. Sleeping enemies. That does some sort of status effect. Does she have a debuff? I don't think she does. I know Raul does. Because that was one of Raul's puzzles, is you had to debuff somebody. I want this. What do you do? Okay, that was the Glitter Pawn. Follow-up technique against a stubborn enemy. A technique that demonstrates its power against severe enemies? Oh, I'm stupid! <laughs> I'm really dumb, I just realized. I forgot the obvious effect. Oh, I think she gives you a hint as well. Can I push you? I cannot push you. Stop that. Come here. No, come here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Ah! Uh. That was not the answer. Wait, it might have been the answer. Oh, it was the answer. Okay, so. See? Combat is a puzzle. One more. Heard the sound on Raul's and mine at the same time. Did both doors open? Oh, not again! Wasn't this the gimmick of the last book? Why are we doing it a second time? Raul, are you in there?
Yes. Let's take a little break. I know you're pushing yourself, aren't you? I'm sorry. Hey, it might be weird to say this now, but... Thanks, Ralph, for staying with me in my dream. Have you found the meaning of your birth? Hmm, about that. You know, I've been scared for a long time. Living alone and grow... <laughs> what? I came here thinking that if I could figure out who I was, everything would be okay. Then I realized something. It's not about knowing the past. It's about knowing we live in the present, in the future. Maybe it's because I met some noisy, nosy guy somewhere that made me think that way. It's alright. You shouldn't be trapped in these dingy ruins. You look better in the bright sun. You know, Raoul? Hey, Lynn. I knew it. I know it. We can talk about it later. Yeah, me too. I'll let you know when we get out of here. Thanks. I'm well rested. Now let's solve this last trick. You're going to go we're going to go out and collect all the treasures in the world, aren't we? Yes, together. Are you on break at work, Nick? Oh, the light coming through this room. It's a different color than the star in the back. I can't force Raoul any more than, he are, than I already am. We have to hurry. All right, here we go again. We have a yellow light and a blue door. Meaning the yellow needs to go to the other side of the room and the blue comes back. The light will pierce the dark path and reach the dark colored stars. The dark colored stars? I can't seem to find anything that looks like that in this room. Oh no, the answer isn't fish. There's no way to get it to go through fish at the beginning. The answer isn't fish. Technically, no, I have you on such low volume I can barely hear you unless between calls. Neato. All right, Raoul. 
Read the inscription on the monument. When the longing light shines upon the stars that have lost their sparkle, the stars will resonate and glow together. Eventually, the stars will give birth to new light. When that light passes through the path of darkness three times, the final path will be marked. Oh, boy. Oh. What? The crystal is not illuminated, but it is floating. Okay, there's mirrors hanging from the ceiling, but they are not low enough to do anything with. I can't do anything with the crystal. In this state, is it, in, it is impossible to make shine. All right, what else do we have on Lin's side? We need to make the stars shine three times. How many holes are there? Are there only the three? There's only the three. So we have to find a way to split this. Yes, no? There's not really any double-sided mirrors. Once again, these mirrors only face two directions. So, we start with you next. I did something. Oh, I shined the middle. Okay. Fish was the answer! It was fish! Fish is always the answer! <laughs> uh, okay. A light came through the room on Raul's side. Take it easy, Raul. Oh, so let's see. Now Raul's going to solve the puzzle. And then the stars are going to reset. And, uh... Sure thing, Mr. Crocker. What? Fish. Looks like the contraption in the room has changed. Let's check it out. Easy. Now that's going to re-affect something in Lin's room, and we'll have to change how the light comes through to hit the main crystal. We got to do this three times. The light came back from Lin's side.
Okay, that does nothing for us. So I need this to go... That still does nothing for us, because it'll be out of range. But now there's not a light coming through, uh... That's the door we came in, so that doesn't matter. So, do, 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 turn this one. That's still not right. Unless. Oh, where's it getting stopped? Oh, phooey, it's coming that way. So you are useless, so it's gotta come this way. So then we'll pump it between this. If I move that back, it'll hit you. So now it'll go that way into the next crystal. Oh, baby. Okay, that escalated very quickly. <laughs> Looks like the light has reached Raul. Do it in two moves. It's going to be the exact number of moves to solve it as it gives me. Oh. Oh. All right. How many moves do we have? Six. Yeah, we didn't do that right. Okay. Ugh, push the button. <laughs> All right. You are the little troublemaker right here. So if we start like this, hmm. Yeah, Fooey. This is. This one's a toughie. Two moves left, though. Um... Bummer. Okay. You are the... No, no, no! Mm. <laughs> I didn't mean to click him yet.
start over. I feel like we need to do something that gets that corner wrong, and then it corrects it on, like, the last turn or something. So we're gonna go like this. And like this. I played myself. Um... Yeah, okay. Start over. Okay, no, stop just clicking buttons. Actually think it through. You! This one in the corner is the little... Mm. doesn't even factor in the ones over there. Ugh. Yeah, I think you might be right. We're obsessing over the corner too much. But that one has to change at some point. Alright, let's start back over here. But then this whole side... What the f... I'm so confused. No, I feel like that's already wrong. Because the if we get too far away, we can't move our way back over. I think I was almost on the right track there. Yeah, I was almost on the right track there. Okay. Yes? Solving it one row at a time seems to be the key. Oh, so practically what I started to figure out when I was looking at it diagonally. All right, so. Ah, but that corner, fuck. No, that was wrong. Ugh. 
Ah, uh, just reset it. I already forgot the moves I made when I almost solved it. <laughs> I don't like how I can't zoom out the camera any more than this. Okay. I'm gonna start here. Then... Move here. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I did that right, and the next one's going to be harder. <laughs> Wait, didn't it say I needed to pass the light through? Oh, right. I do need to pass the light through three times, but now I need to use the blue light. I'll leave the rest in Lin's hands. Okay. Now we have to use the blue light. And we must converse with fish. Fish was the answer. That's not the way you're supposed to turn. Meaning I need you. Nope, that is incorrect. Meaning I need to actually use you to get it to go through bat and come out of fish. And once it comes out to fish... Well, that's problematic. Um... Uh, Alright, let's track where this is going. Which way do you turn? That's what I was afraid of. switch which door it's coming out of pretty much like that yeah so now it's going in fish and out this way We needed the light to go through those crystals three times. <gasps> Fish! <laughs> I don't know why that became such a focus. It was one joke, and it just kept going, and now there's fish everywhere. Fish was the answer all along. Looks like the moon statue appeared on Raul's side. Please take it easy. Seems fishy. Always.
there was a fish. It's just gone now, I guess. All right, what do you do? Let's get rid of that gravity, that mist. Crit misses are my favorite. So we cannot lower your gravity? You just tend to punch a lot, don't you? Ah! Now what? Wasn't that. Oh, wait, an Abyss Jewel. What do you do? What are you angry at me for? I didn't do nothing. Oh. Well, I have solved the puzzle. Come get me. Raul got the 12th Moonstone. Heard a sound from Linsides, too. Finally, we're going to be at it reunited. goodness. Safe and sound, I get to see you again. Are you feeling okay? I have enough energy left to go on a round-the-world treasure hunt with you. You're making fun of me like that. Now that all we have to do is tie the 12 moons together. The miracle of Gyra is coming back. All right, let's get started. Do I have to do it? Is it another puzzle to figure out where they go? Dang it. <laughs> the words on the ground just appeared. Lynn read the words on the ground. The 12 moons are arranged in a predetermined sequence. Read only the correct orbit order inscribed on the altar. When everything is arranged in its proper sequence, the spell to call the night is chanted aloud in the center. Of the miracle of Jyla will be revealed. Apparently, you have to arrange the 12 moons you got in a certain order. Then say aloud the spell. What was it called?
Oh gosh. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, I don't even know where to start with this one. Uh... This is the fish altar. Will house the image of the first moon. The first moon? The altar of the rabbit on this altar is enshrined the image of the moon. The next figure after the altar of the cat. So all we know is that the fish is the first one. Oh, puzzles like this are the worst. On this altar, the image of the seventh moon will not be enshrined. Is an image of the first moon. What? Only six and under. Is three greater than the wolf? <laughs> oh my gosh. The 10th and 11th moon of the dragon altar are placed next to each other. Okay, there's a Haroba guide for this, right? <laughs> this is the only puzzle I, I think the language barrier is actively going to be kicking us in the face. Four twenty two, four hundred to five hundred. 421 to 430. 
Room of the Twelve Statues. <laughs> oh gosh, I do. Okay, yeah, I just looked it up. I was not going to solve this one. A nightmare on switch even okay even with the Akmon this is it's picking up the the text in such a weird way that the language barrier is still an issue here I have absolutely no shame in looking up the answer for uh, puzzles when they are involved with the language barrier Physics puzzles and light puzzles? Yeah, I solved every single one of those myself without a guide. So, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> but this one, this is, this is definitely where I was drawing that line. Especially because every time I got wrong, I had to navigate these menus, wait for the screen to go black. This would have been a nightmare. What'll be the real kick to the pants is if I have to put them in the statues in order. Because either way, then we're going to have to restart. But I think they just need to be in the pedestals on their proper place. Hopefully. If I have to do them counting up, that will still be an issue. Not one that's hard to fix, but... Okay, it worked. Reboot Akmon, because I was holding buttons. I finished erating the moon statues. Next, we should say the spell that calls night into the middle of the room. This is a weirdly high frame rate cutscene. Come on, show yourself, miracle of Jyla. Got one more puzzle, boss. Oh, that thing's creepy as hell. 
That's the miracle of Jyla? Thanks for bringing me here, Lin. Now I'm gonna turn on you like a Kirby villain. Unique boss? My name is Jaira, the demon god. Jaira, Jaira. This is an ancient miracle sealed in this land. How dare you bring me back to life? What do you mean, Mohasi? Hmm, so it does. So, you were the miracle of Jyla. Then I wish for you... Help Raoul! I want you to break the curse on him. Lin. My beloved, descendant of the people of the night. I called it! What? And it's exactly like I thought for Raul then. I will never break my oath. I will do what you want. Since ancient times, I have given the power to make wishes come true in exchange for a price. Lin, before I grant your wish, I will tell you an old story about your ancestors. In those days, the invasion of the Kingdom of the Sun was about to destroy the Kingdom of the Night. The King wanted me to have the power to destroy the Sun. Wanted to have the power to destroy the Sun. With the dagger I gave him in return, I ordered him to kill and sacrifice his daughter. What are you talking about? But he betrayed me. The king handed his beloved daughter my dagger and told her to run far away. An unprecedented betrayal of the people of the night, whom we have loved and cherished for so long. I have destroyed the kingdom of the night with my own hands, to give it its due. And when I had used up all my strength, I was sealed in this temple by the people of the sun, and put into a long long sleep you guessed it Lin the time has come at last the princess of the lost kingdom of the night was born a daughter to inherit her soul. I have protected the temple unto the dagger she holds, as it has led her here. To make them pay for thousands of years of blood.
You are the living embodiment of the princess who ran away, Lin. I'm a survivor of the fallen people of the night, a reincarnation of the princess who ran away. That's how I... Now you will pay me for in blood, and I will grant your wish. Oh, I thought she took that, but I guess not. Don't be fooled, Lin. You don't belong here in this dingy ruin. Demon God, I will defeat you and unleash Lin into the sun. And return Lin to the sun. Raul. That spin, though. Yes, that's what I promised. I'm going to live in the future with you. Sprightly lad, let me show you the power of the resurrected demon god who rules the night. You will know the abyss, the eternal night of the future. All right, what's the puzzle that's going to kick my ass for three rounds? Any specifics in the battlefield? There is nothing on the field as of right now. Ha! <laughs> And, okay, so this is just kill the man, because he doesn't have, uh, an absurd HP regen by the looks of it. So it is just live. Raul, I know you have moves for keeping aggro. Please use them. <laughs> Dark resistance decreased. Oh, is that sleep? Oh, it's considered a breath attack? Neato. And your darkness down, baby. Let's go. it off its darkness. Oh, hello.
That didn't last long. Okay, here's where we gotta be careful. I feel like he's gonna do... Eee! Raul, get away from him! <laughs> Wait, from over the... I couldn't stop it. My uh, stun move was not charged. <laughs> I just had to eat the death. Yeah, snorted. Gosh. Okay, so when he's in yellow, we are not going to touch my funny little stun move because uh, that is going to be borderline required. I also understand that for this fight... What? Oh, I gotta say the thing again. Okay. We don't want to be slapping skills willy-nilly like it's regular DQX. We actually have to use the regular attack option. Unfortunately, Raul does not do his uh, bigger attacks very often that cause weaknesses. Unless we can control his uh, behavior. Let's see. We cannot. Meaning we get just get the regular attack. Ah. Uh. Come on. Wake up! Sheesh! Go to sleep. Is that considered? Okay, it has no attribute. I really wish we had a, uh, Remy heal. Get that breath reflect back up. Ooh, big crit.
I think that's death. Got that move stopped. Not this time, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, so I have to make sure Raul doesn't get paralyzed either? Wow. Okay, huh. Does it say anything about the boss fight in here? Four twenty two. Yeah. I was right. I did everything right except Raul got paralyzed, and that is why we lost.
was correct! Oh, this is a long boss fight, though. <laughs> Big crit. Time to go sleep. Ralph, please seal yourself. You're not going to. So yes, you are. Let's get him up to full health anyway. No, how do we stop this? Oh, okay, I did it wrong again. I You can use it on Raul. Oh, I was thinking it was an AoE. That's my bad.
That's death what for? <laughs> Ugh. Go back in. Yeesh. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Just to be sure. Yeah, okay, I can use it on Raul. It needs to be used on Raul. <laughs> Oops. This is not a good start. to piss him off, Raul. Or not. Yes, go to sleep. No, don't wake up after one. Okay, you're still earlier enough in your HP. I can do this and we can get some free damage in here. Buddy, what are you doing? Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. I was like, so let's get this hit out before I lose this tension. Dark resist is gonna fade. So now we wanna heal.
Boosh! Eat crap! <laughs> what is it oh i was hoping for a sick animation that works too darn i was hoping we'd get like why did i turn that back on we're about to have a cutscene. i was hoping for like a special coup de gras animation man Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to lose a fifth time, man. You. Despite what it's something in your own body, this whole temple will be crushed. Uh, you may have defeated God, but you're, you will be crushed in this temple. Statue of the Moon, release my power. What's wrong? My, why is my power being blocked? Ra it's Raul. Did you not notice? I was pulling out the statues of the moon. I thought you were suspicious even before you revealed yourself. Who are you? The disappearance of the people of Arahagiru in this area brought me to these ruins to investigate. Those damned sun people. You are... I am king of Arahagiru. Holy crap! I am the king of Arahagiru, descendant of the people of the sun. Araha Ar Raul. Interesting. Come, demon god. It's time to return to darkness. I will defeat you and end the cursed history of the Temple of the Night here. I will free Lin from the curse of her own blood. I'm speechless. Holy crap. King of the Sun, is this fate that I should be sealed away again by you? But you made an irrevocable mistake. Your body has already has limits, doesn't it? You have received the vengeance of the people of the night, who still roam this world. That is the curse of death of which you cannot escape. How could the king cease to exist because of the resentment of the people of a dead kingdom? What is truly frightening is the resentment of people.
Rahul. Lynn, will you forgive me? What are what would I be forgiving? I knew where you came from, but I kept quiet. When I saw your dagger, I knew. My ancestors invaded and destroyed the Night Kingdom, and you are its survivor. But such a coincidence is... Smile. I really enjoyed this adventure with you. Finally, I really wanted to fulfill your wish. No, Raul, I already got my wish. I met you, and that was the meaning of my birth. You gave me a future. I had given up on the idea of being a king. I had given up on the idea that being a king was a boring life. It's not bad, only because I met you. I was able to free you from the spell of the past. That's my living value. Be happy, Lynn. Raoul. can't be happy without you. I'm such a helpless person, really. Mohasi, I know you can hear me. In exchange for a price, I get my wish. You said so. Can you do a favor and listen? I offer myself to you in exchange. Oh. Oh! So that's why... Are you sure that's a good idea? That word is much... That world is much crueler than Lynn thinks. The fact that Lil, Lynn is willing to accept me give herself to me is a sign and sign a contract with me means losing all of the happiness of living as a human being. You will become a horrifying god of evil. That means spending the eternity in the depths of the dark, cold night. I chose my future. That's what Ra Raoul taught me. Whatever darkness awaits me in the future, I accept it all. That's why. Help Raoul!
good. You didn't know that, Nick? <laughs> uh, it was spoiled for me. I knew going in. Ugh. That Lynn is technically Sage Maroon. to be a mood killer, Akmon. Lynn. Should the king just kind of be hanging out like that? <laughs> I suppose he's not really... He's technically in the palace with the way Asahagiru is made, but... Ugh, excuse me. Oh, man, this quest is more of a gut punch than I thought. Wait, but how does Raul die then? Because we know where his body is. Uh... -uh. Wait. Lynn. Oh, you! Have you ever heard of a girl named Lynn? Sage me, Lynn. It's in the name! Ah! I don't know such a girl. Dude. Ah, oh, screw you, game. I took the trouble to let you meet him. Were you really happy? If 
that person is al if Raul is alive, that's all that matters. Akmon, <laughs> where'd you go? Killing the mood a second time. Lynn is nowhere to be found. I'm Marlin, a woman who is enchanted by a demon. Akmon, holy crap, dude! What is your problem today? <laughs> it was that girl's choice, and the future came together. No, but how did that happen? <laughs> That's what's not answered yet. Cause there's a corpse there by the sword Lynn's memory her story ends here Yeah. It's more of a back... Okay, so the two sages we have a decent amount of backstory for now are Eidos and Marlin. We actually don't know a ton about Hollow, all things considered. We knew he knew Abba, but that's about all we knew. <laughs> Book is gone. Welcome back, Exelon. At last, the memory book you have brought back has all the memories of the adventures of a girl named Lynn. Thanks to you, just a few moments ago. The title of the Book of Memory popped up. Thank you, Exelon. The book you read is called Lynn's Choice and the Birth of Sage Maron, Marlin. Apparently, that was about 300 years ago when a little girl named Lynn... When there was a little girl named Lynn. It looks like this book was transcribed. In fact... What gathers in this library are memories that, for some reason or another, have been closed off, but are very, very important memories. You brought up the memory so that she could face it again and hold it close to her heart. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to get a good feeling out of that, such actions. The reason why I chose you is because I felt that you are a person that can be entrusted with people's thoughts and carry them on your back. You know, this actually makes a lot of sense, especially when you also then think about the Demon Swordsman quest having a very, very similar message. 
I'm glad I chose you. Thank you, excellent. Akmon, come on, buddy. You've been working fine all day. Ah! <laughs> oh, come. You know what display is. Come on. Thank you. I suppose you're done with the aroma of oblivion, too, so I'll take it back. Maybe. Someday a book of someone else's memory will be born. When that happens, I'd like you to lend me a hand again. Actually, wow. There is so many things they could do with this. Like, the other sages version 6. I right, about to head out. Seriously. No, but there's version 6 stuff we could do with this. We could learn more about just other sages in general. So many lore opportunities! I need it! Oh, Phantom Lords. I'm not gonna get a chance to use this. Wow, it, this place has three f What the- it goes so high! There's gotta be an actual book or two hiding in here that it lets you read. And yes, later I will spend time poking the X button on every single bookshelf. A care ring? Ah! No, open. Take that. Alright, I will go higher later. We're gonna do one last thing. Even though we kind of already looked at it. I think it was during episode one. There's another layer. Yeah, they're, they're like that place goes up and up and up and up and up. You probably, I, I think if I remember correctly, it like blocks you from climbing another ladder at some point. <laughs> I went pretty quiet there, chat. I apologize for the last two, three minutes. I'm just kind of absorbing <laughs> what we just played.
We can... Okay, it lets us open the notebook now. Gently opened the now crumbling notebook. Night Temple Exploration Notebook. Long years have passed as I've searched for you. After all, it seems that I came to this place as if I was led here at the end. I guess it is fate that we will end up here without ever seeing each other again. There is a large moon in the sky. Whenever I looked at it, I always thought I had wondered if you could be happy. I didn't see you in the future that I gave you, that you gave me. The promise of eternity burned into my heart still. I'm proud of the life you saved. This lifetime of chasing the only light that's worth a damn to me alone. I hope you understand that I was happy. The letters in the notebook stop there. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I don't say that word often on stream, but fuck you, game. Oh. All right, chat. I think that's a fantastic <laughs> stopping point. Fairy library, huh? I I do think this is hands down up there now as one of my favorite side quests. Heartbreak achievement. Uh, but like, I think Breaking World and this are my two favorite side quests. No contest. I really liked this. Kind of a tragedy and a downer of an ending. And I would, I do think it'd be really cool if we got a side quest later to, uh, free Marlin from the demon and kind of give her a happy ending. That would be really cool if we get that at some point. But, uh, man. <laughs> so, as always, guys, stay excellent, have a fantastic time zone, and I will see you next time. Peace out.